Eve wakes up in a tunnel in a nauseated condition. She seems confused about her whereabouts before realizing a bracelet on her wrist and has no idea what's going on. Upon looking around, she sees the bodies of deceased soldiers and begins to crawl in another direction. Later, a group of soldiers in a helicopter have arrived at the facility to save the scientific team. Their commander shows them pictures of some prisoners who might be present in the facility and instructs them to kill them on sight. Back in the facility duct, we see a scientist named John who is scared as he frantically looks around. He finds the same bodies of military personnel. He takes one of their guns and is about to move forward when he hears a sound from behind. He turns back to come face to face with a monster-like creature and gets attacked by it. The soldiers have entered the facility. Even one of the other prisoners are in the duct while they notice the soldiers scanning the area. They find an inmate and shoot him instantly. Both of them try to stay silent, but one of the soldiers notices them and starts firing, instantly killing the other prisoner as Eve witnesses. Eve begins to crawl backward just when a soldier peeks inside. She manages to escape to an open space where she hears a lot of noises and assumes that it's the soldiers and begins crawling away. Then we see four soldiers named Romeo, Weeki, Fourpack, and Kid who are also in the duct. They continue forward as one of them senses that someone is there and they begin to follow. They reach the same place where the soldiers and John have been killed and get alerted looking at the decapitated conditions of the body. They again get a signal from someone in their tracker, so they continue following the signal to find Eve who is sitting in a corner. Romeo gets closer to her and as soon as Eve looks at him, he starts having flashbacks of the past where Eve and Romeo seem to be a couple. He couldn't believe his eyes as he assumed that Eve was dead. He tries to talk to her, but Eve doesn't seem to remember anything. The others also come closer to kill her, but Romeo stops them, which results in an argument among the team. Kid then informs them about another signal that keeps getting closer to them. As it comes closer, Kid notices a huge creature, and they all rush to get out of there with the help of a rope. They throw explosives towards the creature, but unfortunately, Kid falls back in front of the creature, and there is no way out for him. Kid urges Romeo to initiate the explosion, and Romeo adamantly obliges killing both the creature and Kid. Wiki gets really upset at this and loses her composure, blaming it all on Eve while putting a gun at her. Eve instinctively takes Romeo's guns and points back like a trained soldier. This makes Romeo realize that she hasn't forgotten everything. Romeo somehow manages to calm them down. They begin to walk again and soon find a way upwards. Romeo goes ahead and opens the door to find a few people hiding there. One of the men named Matthew keeps freaking out until Romeo's team shut him down at gunpoint. They begin inquiring, but a man named Caesar does not let anyone speak up. They threaten them, and Matthew breaks. He tells them that the facility is a scientific lab where they genetically engineer human and animal DNAs to create various new species. But all hell broke loose when one of their experiments got out of hand and a subject went crazy. All the other subjects got out of their control and began killing whatever they came across. Just then, Eve arrives upstairs. Upon seeing her, Matthew and Caesar try to kill her, but Romeo stops them. Matthew reveals that Eve is the subject that got out of hand and the reason for all of this. Caesar warns Romeo if they do not kill Eve, she will kill them all. Romeo doesn't believe this and doesn't let anyone kill Eve. Soon they hear someone scream at a distance. Upon following the voice, they come upon a soldier that starts shooting them. Romeo notices that the soldier seems to be in control of the man beside him. So he runs toward him in order to get him out of the hypnosis, but the soldier warns Romeo to stay back or he will shoot him. Romeo still tries to save him, but the soldier makes a stupid decision right after. The man now begins to control Romeo and is about to succeed, but Fourpack shoots the man, which snaps Romeo out of it. Romeo questions Caesar about this power. Caesar replies that they were also performing a psychological experiment in the facility where they tried to make their subjects control other people's minds. They were preparing this psychological weapon for the military so that there would be less bloodshed in the war. But all of this got ruined because of Eve when she broke out. He also reveals that Eve doesn't have any idea about her powers and this makes her more dangerous to humans. After listening to all of this, Eve gets enraged in anger. She grabs the explosive from Fourpack and threatens to kill Caesar. But before she could do so, Wiki knocks her out from behind. 
They continue their journey, and disgusted by their experiments, Romeo instructs Caesar and his team to go their own way, and that he would kill them if they follow the soldiers. Upon waking up, Eve begins to take control of Weeki's mind. Weeki begins to hear some strange noises. She consults her team about the noise, but they both deny hearing anything. Weeki notices a dog at the end of the tunnel and gets confused as to how it got there. She points toward it, but the others don't see anything there. Weeki gets frustrated and begins firing at the dog, but it stays unharmed. The dog then begins attacking Weeki, and she goes out of control while fighting her hallucination. The others try to help her, but she mistakes fighting the imaginary dog in the process, instantly killing her in reality. The noise from this commotion is heard by the soldiers on the floor, and they explode the space between Eve and the other two. Eve runs away, and the soldiers follow Fourpack and Romeo while firing at them. Meanwhile, Caesar has reached the control room and can see the two running away from the soldiers. He begins to lock all the doors that Fourpack and Romeo could use to escape, trying to trap them. Both of them manage to escape the soldiers, but Caesar traps them by locking the way out and releases a poisonous gas to kill them. But they manage to find an opening and get out of there. Meanwhile, Caesar leads Eve towards a room where Matthew is. She asks him to tell her everything about her life. Matthew is scared of her but continues to tell her the truth while keeping his guard up. He informs her that her dead body was found by a group of scientists. They brought her to the facility and exchanged her mind with someone else, followed up by several experiments that brought her back to life. All the experiments done on her were successful. That's why Caesar deemed her as the most dangerous of all the subjects. Not being able to remember anything, Eve is still in disbelief. Seeing this, Matthew shows her a video of her during the experiment. In the clip, Eve is seen talking to someone and then tries to stab them with a pencil in order to get out. She realizes that the person she attacks in the video is Matthew and senses the danger. Matthew begins to attack her from behind, but she manages to dodge it. A long struggle ensues between the two where Matthew overpowers Eve and takes a surgical tool to kill her. She holds a weapon against him, but stops as her eyes turn pitch black. After realizing something, she throws the weapon away. With a sinister look in her eyes, Eve begins using her powers to control his mind and forces him to die with the same weapon. Caesar is watching all of this in the control room and realizes that Eve knows about her powers and gets even more scared. Meanwhile, Romeo and Fourpack continue to crawl in a narrow duct looking for an opening. After a long struggle, Romeo succeeds in finding an exit, but Eve stands there with a sinister look on her face. She begins to control Fourpack's mind, making him believe that the duct is getting hotter and he hallucinates that he is burning up. Romeo keeps begging Eve to stop and tries to snap Fourpack out of this, but Eve is too strong. Fourpack couldn't take this and is killed the same way. Helpless and frustrated, Romeo manages to get out of the duct and points a gun at Eve. She pretends to be innocent as if she didn't know what happened. When Romeo doesn't believe her, she begins to control him as well by reminding him of his wife as he gets flashbacks of her. Romeo's face changes and his nose starts to bleed, but before Eve could succeed, Caesar arrives there as well. They get into an argument while Caesar reveals to Romeo that Eve was never his wife. Instead, she used her power to insinuate herself in Romeo's memories in order to get her way. He tries to help him see how evil Eve truly is. Caesar is not even finished when Eve shoots his assistant and uses her powers to kill him as well. Romeo backs away from her as she tells him how she was so jealous of the love Romeo shared with his wife. She reminds him of her trying to make him weak, but Romeo manages to fake his attraction towards her. He takes the lid off the explosive and a big explosion occurs that bursts Romeo all over the place. The scene cuts to Eve's brain where we see the surgical procedure where the scientists inserted someone else's brain into her. But it is revealed that they killed an alien-like creature and inserted its brain in Eve, resulting in her getting back to life with all those powers. After a while, Eve wakes up in the tunnel confused and nauseated just like at the beginning of the film. She looks around and notices the dead bodies, feeling sick and doesn't seem to remember anything. She continues to walk until she reaches a staircase that takes her out of the facility. As soon as she gets out, a huge explosion takes the entire place down. But she doesn't even get a scratch. Eve opens her pitch black eyes towards the newfound freedom on Earth. If you want more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos and playlist on the screen. Thanks for watching.